very good afternoon to you uh very good afternoon to you uh it's 10 past two uh today is the 20th of november 2024 uh welcome to my channel my name is jen the blessed um if you have been following me for some time thank you so much if you are new on my channel uh please make sure that you subscribe you click follow and yeah, we welcome you to this page, uh, to my channel. Uh, this channel is a positive channel. Uh, we don't insult each other. There is no shouting. There is no fighting. It's only peace, the love of God, and uh, positivity is what we live on. And um, if you have got a question, we ask with love. If you have got, if you need an answer, we answer with love, with a smile. Uh, that's all about this channel. Um, motivating, inspiring each other regarding any challenge of life uh, that we may face and uh, today it's my privilege and an opportunity uh, to be talking or sharing with you uh, this opportunity uh, today I'm talking about visa sponsorship jobs in Luxembourg. Um, I'm not so sure if I'm pronouncing it well but it's called Luxembourg. Uh, Luxembourg is a, Euro a small European country uh, it's in Europe. Um, the countries that are close to Luxembourg is Belgium, France, and Germany. Uh, they say it's mostly rural with dense um, forest and nature parks in the north, rock, rocky gorges um, uh, in the region, in the east of the Mosel River Valley, in the southeast. The capital city of Luxembourg is famed for its fortified medieval old paged old sheer cliffs okay um language is spoken in luxembourg uh luxembourgish french and germany uh its population is about 668 less than a million okay half a million we are looking at um it's not a big country it's a very small country uh it's a monarchy democracy unitary state uh, it's in Europe, and its current prime minister is Luke Frieden, okay? Um, so that's Luxembourg. So today I'm going to be talking about this small country with visa sponsorship opportunities for non-EU people like you and me, okay? We are going to be looking at it. You know, when opportunities comes like this, it's very important to hear and understand what is required so that you don't have um, a lot of questions, okay? Uh, so I'm going to be getting into it now uh, so that we proceed. Again, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video with me. I'm going to give you an opportunity to ask me questions before the end of this video. As you know, I'm your girl. I bring good tidings, good news only. So... Uh, I'm skilled jobs with visa sponsorship in Luxembourg. Um, they say beyond its reputation for financial services in high tech industry, Luxembourg economic strength relies heavily on a sector often overlooked unskilled jobs. These positions form the foundation of various industries, ensuring the smooth functioning of daily operations from logistics, construction to hospitality and facilities management. Unskilled workers play a critical role in keeping Luxembourg's economy humming. And often these positions are available for foreigners. So we are talking about unskilled positions. Yesterday I did a video on skilled positions, but today I'm talking about unskilled positions. Position that positions that an ordinary person can take and do. Okay, that's what we are talking about today. An ordinary person without a degree can do that kind of job. Um, so it's a destination for non-European job seekers, who people like you and me. And initially agriculture, it was an initially agriculture-based country. Luxembourg evolved to be one of the most advanced, not to mention wealthiest countries. It's considered one of the wealthiest countries in Europe. Uh, part of this success is the fact that Luxembourg welcomes foreigners for both skilled and unskilled jobs, okay? It's for skilled and unskilled jobs. Um, 
So, Ice Cube Jobs with visa sponsorship in Luxembourg quickly became very popular among foreigners, especially if you are non-EU, because you need to go and work with visa sponsorship. Um, so, let's look at what Luxembourg, this country, have. Like I said to those that are just joining, it's a country, beautiful country in Europe, which is very rich or wealthy and doing very well. Uh, it's between uh, Germany, Belgium, and France. Uh, it's next, next to Germany, Belgium, and France. Uh, it has got a strong economy, uh, which means Luxembourg is a very attractive destination for businesses and workers from all over the world due to its massive range of industries and favorable tax regime. Some countries that we all love, like Canada, they do not have favorable tax uh, regime, which means you work hard, you earn more, much of it goes to tax. But with this one, they've got a favorable tax regime. It, it's a multilingual uh, society. Luxembourg has three official languages, Luxembourgish, French, and German. And it creates a welcoming environment for foreigners. To note that here, English is also wildly spoken. There is a high majority of people that speak English, especially in the business world. The linguistic diversity opens up opportunity for different individuals from in language backgrounds. Which means I know some people that have been learning Germany, some people that have been learning French. It's an added advantage for you if you can start learning. And some people, like I've always been doing, if you really have got nothing to do, go on YouTube, start learning Germany, start learning French. Those languages, even if you go, for example, French, if you go to Luxembourg, you have got an advantage. If you go to Germany, you've got an advantage. If you go to Canada, you've got an advantage. If you are a French speaking person, you understand? So learning an additional language at your free time nowadays everything is easy because you can learn on youtube youtube is open to us and you can learn as many languages as possible i know a friend of mine and a daughter that learned a germany from zero now they can write germany they speak germany fluently they are here in south africa and they are comfortable speaking germany even here in south africa if you can communicate and speak germany you get high paying jobs Okay, so here in South Africa, if you can communicate, speak German, you you get high paying jobs by just learning, by just being able to communicate in German. But it's not a must that you must speak those languages because they also communicate in English. But for unskilled jobs, it's mostly beneficial for you if you can start practicing whilst you're applying, also practice to learn German and these languages so that you can put it on your CV that I can communicate in German, I can communicate in French, you know, even this Lombard, 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 Lombard language of theirs, you can learn it, you can learn everything on YouTube these days, okay? It's just an encouragement. Let's go back uh, to, to our video. High quality of life. They say Luxembourg is continuously placed among the countries with the highest living standards globally. It offers excellent health care, education, and public services, which means it's a beautiful country to live in because they've got excellent health care. We all need health care. They've got excellent education. We all need that for our children. They've got good public services, which means transport is easy. All other services are good, okay? Public services, we mean like collecting beans and all that libraries, ETC, all those government-offered services, those are what we call public services. They do have excellent public services. And those benefits are offering a great quality of life. So if a country is considered to be having a great quality of life, it means that country, its citizens live well and long, okay? That's the great high quality of life. So if you live in a country that has got a high quality of life, it means you also, you will enjoy that and you will benefit from the high quality of life. You can live long from living in a good country, good environment. You understand? Uh, let's go to another good advantage of living in Luxembourg. Welcoming foreign workforce. They say Luxembourg is known for its actively looking for foreign workers. I have seen that 
online um, foreign workers to fill gaps in its labor market. As it is a rather small country, there is great openness to foreign talent, which means they recruit a lot of foreigners from all over the world to come and work in their country because their population is small, so they need a lot of people to push their economic um goals and stuff so they need a lot of people on the ground which means your chances of migrating to Luxembourg are very high because they are recruiting so there is also a great openness in foreign talent which attracts skilled and unskilled workers from all over the world not just Europe making you Luxembourg a very competitive place professionally so if you want to expand your profession Luxembourg is very good because it has got a diverse of different people from other countries other continents okay so it's good for you um they also say another advantage of Luxembourg is it is popular for professions for unskilled workers which means for people like us majority of us here in Africa who does not have skilled qualifications we stand a lot of chance because they've got a lot of jobs for unskilled people in Luxembourg many job seekers in Luxembourg find success in unskilled positions these roles can be a great way to enter the workforce or gain, gain experience in new field. Um, and now, so it's an advantage for people who doesn't have qualifications, people who are not skilled with uh, special skills or critical skills, uh, Luxembourg is for you. Now we are going to be looking at jobs that you can find, unskilled jobs you can find in Luxembourg. We start with the sales selling merchandise, selling clothes, selling in shops, etc. They say working as a cashier, shelf stalker, or sales associates in supermarket, convenience stores, or retail outlets, which means you can re relocate to Luxembourg and work as a cashier or work as a shelf stalker, uh, packing stuff in shelves or work as sales associate in supermarkets, assisting customers, packing ETC, or convenience stores or retail stores. Okay. Uh, the other position that is available is cleaning. There are lots of cleaning jobs in Luxembourg, which means you can relocate and do cleaning jobs, cleaning offices, cleaning homes or public spaces such as schools or hotels or general janitorial service and find and facility maintenance, maintaining staff through cleaning. Okay. So it's so it's another job that you can do in Luxembourg that does not require skilled jobs. Okay, let's move to hospitality. Um, roles like this dishwasher, waiter, or a waitress, or a kitchen helper in restaurants, hotels, and cafes. Um, you can do this, okay? You don't need a, jo a critical skill to do this. So these are other one of the jobs that you can do, uh, washing dishes, waiter or waitering, kitchen helper, assisting in the kitchen, cleaning or washing dishes, collecting plates, dishes and stuff in restaurants, hotels and cafes. You can see there's a lot of opportunities in Luxembourg. There is also construction jobs in Luxembourg, okay? So jobs on construction sites like laborers. We all know construction work here in South Africa. You can work as a laborer in um, construction in Luxembourg. You can work as general helpers assisting brick Layer, bricklayers, etc. You know there is a lot that happens in construction or land, landscapers making gardens, etc. Um, let's move to other uh, jobs that you can do in Luxembourg. Factory and warehouse. You can also work in factory jobs uh, in Luxembourg. There are entry level positions in manufacturing or warehouses such as packing, sorting, or assembly line work. Assembly line work is, for example, it's a chip making factory. The potatoes will be washed from here. They move to you for selection. They move to another one for peeling. They move to another one for cutting, making sure that the process runs so smoothly. That's another type of factory or a warehouse job. Okay. You can also do packing. You can also do sorting or the assembly line work. That's the factory and warehouse jobs in Luxembourg. Okay. Agriculture. 
So for agriculture, they also have got to seasonal work jobs on farms, okay? Which means you can do harvesting, you can do plant crops, you can do seeding, you can do, you know, the whole process of agriculture, pruning, picking mushrooms, picking fruits, picking flowers, if it's, um, if it's uh, poultry, eggs, uh, meat and stuff, there is a whole lot that goes through the agriculture. And they normally need seasonal work on farms, okay? Uh, there is a whole lot. That's one thing I love about this, uh, Luxembourg. Um, now I've done agriculture. Let's move to domestic help. There is also opportunities for nannies, caregivers, healthcare workers. Um, there is an opportunity for you, which is also domestic help. So working as a nanny, taking care of children, caregiver, assisting children in need, adults in need, all that is part of domestic help or a housekeeper in private homes, cleaning, doing dishes. She's washing, ironing, etc, etc. We all know what goes through domestic work. So there is an opportunity for domestic workers in Luxembourg. Okay. Now let's go to another one. Uh, last but not least, delivery. So there are also jobs involving the delivery of goods or packages, such as couriers or delivery drivers. So if you have got experience driving, uh, take a lot, etc. There is an opportunity for you. You can also relocate and start applying to Luxembourg uh, for jobs like this, uh, delivering of goods or packages, uh, couriers. You know, there are so many things that are delivered groceries etc you know here in south africa we really go to shops like yeah for me like midweek yeah i do but it's easier for me as well i can order my groceries online take um take a lot can deliver uh check out 60 60 can deliver pick and pay delivers woolies dash delivers to my house so those are other deliveries that you can do in Luxembourg. you know the technology is moving and they are bringing things to the customers because some people they don't have time to drive up and down to buy stuff so they bring stuff to your house so there is also delivery jobs Okay, so I've tried to tell you how many opportunities or how much opportunities, which means everyone who is willing and who wants to go through this process can also go through this process and, you know, take your chance and go uh, through it. Um, so they say... Uh, They've issued about 3.7 million primary residence permit uh, for people who were coming to work in Luxembourg. And they're still taking uh, a lot of people. Uh, Luxembourg on its own has issued 9,245 residence permits. You understand? So the advantages of living in a European country is after five years of you living in that European country, you get your residence permit. After getting your residence permit, you now qualify to apply for your ID, your passport from that country, and you become an EU citizen, European Union citizen. And you can now travel the whole Europe, live in the whole Europe, work in the whole Europe anywhere you want. So uh, that's the advantage. And what is visa sponsorship in Luxembourg? Uh, the country prioritizes filling open positions with local residents. Like any other country, they try to fill positions with local residents. But as you know, the country has got a small population, less than like half a million people, the whole country. So they try to, most of the other jobs, like the ones that I've told you, are filled by foreigners. Okay? So local residents are filled through government employment agency, which is called ADEM. There are situations where employers sponsor workers for unskilled workers from outside the European Union. This sponsorship is particularly helpful when there is a proven lack of qualified local candidates or unskilled for unskilled roles. Okay, this method has got several advantages. For example, um, one of the advantages of visa sponsorship, the probability of your visa being rejected is minimum. Okay, because your employer is registered in the Grand Duchy, so your employer gives you visa sponsorship. So once you have visa sponsorship, definitely your permit is coming out. The employer covers the cost of the visa application and sometimes even the employee's relocation costs. So sometimes the employer 
mostly the employer covers the relocation fees, the uh, permit fees, and they say sometimes the employer covers your relocation costs, which means you going to Luxembourg, they also cover it. And they say sometimes, depending on the size of its company and resources, the employer assists in the collection of the necessary documents and provide advice on the process, okay? Just like in Canada, some companies, they collect documents from you and they've got agencies who help you with the application processes and those agencies are paid by the employer, okay? So you will need a permit to work in Luxembourg. So you get your visa sponsorship or a certificate of sponsorship and apply your visa uh, from the nearest consulate, okay? Now, I'm going to go to how to proceed or how, how does the visa application process goes by, okay? So, before entering the country, you must request the temporary authorization to stay through the near, nearest Luxembourg consult mission in your country or by post to the immigration directorate in Luxembourg. The documents you may need to apply for temporary authorization will vary by the case you are applying with, but for job-related entries, it will contain Use, useful set of papers. So I'm going to be talking about the documentation you need to apply for the Luxembourg work permit. Uh, you need your valid passport. Again, you don't need a passport less left with six months when you are going abroad. You need a passport that is still valid, left with a few number of years with more than six blank pages inside. Number two, you need your online application form or a physical application form, which is completed for temporary authorization to stay in Luxembourg. Uh, number three, you need a criminal record certificate. That is the police clearance okay certifying that you did not com commit crime in your country of residence or the country you are residing okay number four you need employment contract so when you apply your employer must give you an employment contract whether as a cleaner whether as a house worker whether as a domestic worker you will need that contract to apply for your work permit number five you need your applications your your applicant cv okay you will need your cv as someone that is applying it need it's needed when you're applying just like for the uk it's needed when you're applying for the visa like your work permit okay and then you need a certificate for from adam okay that's the certificate of sponsorship original certificate that allows employer to hire a person from a third country okay that's your certificate of sponsorship once you have all these documents um you need to do your application to the ministry of foreign affairs in Luxembourg or at the consulate near you okay uh the online application form i do have it um yeah uh and then if you are from a country um only the documents required to move to Luxembourg needs to be translated in your country of ori origin. A notarized translation is usually trans sufficient, okay? Um, translation may be for languages if you, have, if you have got different languages. After you are granted the permission, now you have done your application process, let's move to the next step. After you are granted the permission to stay, you will receive a letter from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs informing you about the decision on your case then you apply for a long-term visa to enter the country to apply for a visa d you need to provide the following information and documents and pay the issuing fee depending on your personal case okay this is after you have received your letter uh, that you are successful two three by five four by five color photos to those that have applied for a schengen visa uh, that's the procedure Passport valid for at least three months before the expiration date of the requested visa. Like I told you, when you're applying for, for abroad, especially for permits and visas, make sure your passport is more than, has got more than five years so that you can get a long-term visa, okay? If you apply with a two year, a passport left with two years, you'll be restricted, okay? You need letter of approval of the temporary residence permit. You need com copy of your internal passport, you need the application form for the Schengen visa.
okay so how much can now we are going to money everyone wants to know how much am i going to be earning um how much can an unskilled worker earn in Luxembourg? now we are looking at people with less skills how much can they earn in Luxembourg? that's what we are talking about so the minimum wage for unskilled workers in Luxembourg is 2,570.93 euros. I'm going to be telling you in runs how much it is. Okay, 2,500, I'm going to say, so two one. euros in runs. Okay, I'm going to convert it with, here with today's rate. So they say the minimum wage anyone must earn in Luxembourg is 49,000 177 rands. We are looking at almost 50,000 rands. That's the minimum salary you are supposed to be earning when you live in Luxembourg. Okay? 50,000 rands is the minimum salary as a cleaner, as anything. That's the minimum salary you are supposed to be earning. 50,000 rands. That shows you it's a very good country to live in. Imagine 50,000 rands, a cleaner, 50,000 rands, domestic worker, 50,000 rands, shop worker, 50,000 rands, all these ordinary jobs, caregiver, 50,000 rands, that's how much it is in euros. Okay, that's the amount in euros. Okay, but it can be more than that, depending with the job, depending with the employer. So I'm going to be telling you now, uh, how much is it? So the amount that I said for a cashier, salesperson, uh, working as a cashier, they say you must earn 2744 euros. This is the little one that's about 50,000 rands. Cleaning janitor. You must be earning 2,715 euros. This is the requirement of the law. We are talking of Luxembourg. To those that are joining, you must uh, look at it. And our polls, I'm going to be talking about the cost of living later. Uh, so cleaning janitor, they say 2,715 euros. Okay, that's more than 50,000 rands. Crew worker construction, whether you are mixing sand or whatever, construction any crew worker in construction must earn 2,644, that's about 48,000, 46,000 rands. And then logistics warehousing, you must earn 2,353, that's about 2,003, that's about maybe below 40 and 45. And then I can convert all the amounts. And then lorry driver. Lorry driver or a truck driver, you must earn 3,028. That's about 60, 70,000 rands for lorry drivers, okay? And then housekeeper, domestic worker, 2,562. That's again about uh, 40, 44, 45,000 rands. Pecker, that's about 2,752. That's about 50 something thousand rands. 5152 there. Uh, that's for PECA. Caregiver. So you can see applying for PECA jobs, it pays a lot of money. Applying for cleaning jobs, it pays a lot of money. Cashier pays a lot of money. Lorry driver is the highest so far. Lorry driver is the highest paid. And then, um, caregiver. Caregiver is even less than the pecker. Caregiver earns 2,698 euros. That's about 41, 42, 43, somewhere there. Or 44, 40, yeah. Gardener, 1,913, okay? As a gardener. 1,913, that's about maybe 30 something thousand rands. Minor, 2,888 euros. Those people that work in mines, okay? So, as you know, as you know, this is one thing I must tell you. The high, if you see a, com a country that pays a lot of money like this, that also tells you, uh, like you heard, they've got a good uh, living, high quality of living, which means you're also going to incur costs, high costs of living in Luxembourg, okay? For example, your accommodation, your transport, ETC. They say transport is free as well, but like you've got other things that you need to pay your bills. But at the end of the day, it will always be better than being in Africa. Even if it's expensive, 
it will always be better than being in Africa. Especially if you are a family. Imagine why all of you are putting more than 100,000. Even if they say 50,000 goes to your cost of living there, it's fine. You still be left with 50,000. That's a lot of money. Okay? That's a lot of money. So, um, how do you get skilled and unskilled worker jobs um, in Luzenberg? For me, I post in subscription page, but if you want, you can search on, online for yourself uh, these jobs. I told you the types of jobs that are available, so you search for these jobs and you apply. But for those that are in subscription page, I'm going to be job giving you job links. And for those that consult with me as well, you will have access. Okay? And then how do you check your eligibility? So when you look for the links, you check if you qualify for that position and then you, you have a CV that matches this position you're applying and then you apply. I've given you all the information. I've given you the amounts. All you need is just to search or in subscription page and you apply for the jobs. Make sure that you match the job that you're applying. Once the employer is happy with you, you do your interviews. If they are happy with you, they give you a contract of employment of employment after they've given you a contract of employment um you sign your contract you do the process that i've told you which is easier hey and then you're good to go it's done okay um what else do i need to tell you uh yeah okay that's all. I've given you all the information. So again, as you know, this is not only for us people from Africa. Eh? Everyone is using the opportunity. Everyone is maximizing on this. Uh, you know, there is no cutoff date. There is nothing. What about agents? Guys, when it comes to jobs abroad, I always tell you, I don't work with agencies, okay? I don't work with agencies because you don't know. They one Number one, they charge a lot. I've seen a lot of people crying after losing 250,000. I've seen a lot of white people who sold their houses, lost all the money through agencies, trying to use agencies to apply. So my advice is you now have all the information. Check the jobs. If you don't want, if you don't have time, you don't know how to search for the jobs, join subscription page and apply. I always put links every week, every day. I guide you. I tell you in subscription page how to apply. If there are secondary links, I told you what you do. You go on the website, you register. That's how you apply. If you are searching online, make sure that you are you know how to search, okay? It's not just looking for a job, a, shop, a cashier job in Luzenberg. There are a lot of scammers out there with website. They will, you click that link, you go to the summer's, scammers link, they'll give you a fake offer, they'll tell you to send money, they'll steal from you. It's not a genuine job. So online is full of scammers. So if you don't know how to search for jobs, don't do it. But if you know what you do, then go ahead and do it and apply, okay? I'm not saying everyone come to me. No, I give you the information so that you can do it for yourself. But I just want to tell you, if you hear someone saying pay money after giving you a job, it's a scam, okay? No job abroad comes with pay money up front. It's a scam, okay? So if it's a genuine job, after applying, they will respond to you via email. They don't call you over the phone. It's rare. Companies abroad, they don't call on the phone. It's rare. They communicate with you via email. They don't ask for money. They don't tell you to send money, Gram Western Union. They don't. They give you offer of employment. You sign the contract after interview. You will see the people that are interviewing you, you discuss the salary, you discuss everything with them. And then they'll give you offer of employment, you sign your contract, you send it to them. After sending your contract, they'll give you certificate of sponsorship, you gather all the documents that I've told you, you look for the nearest consulate near you, okay? I'm not so sure if we do have one in South Africa. Let me check. Luzembag. Luzembag. Luzembag Consulate in South Africa. Okay. Yeah, so we do have we do have a consulate 
in South Africa sent on. So there is a consulate in South Africa. So you can go to South Africa. I don't think in Zimbabwe we do have. If we do, then it's an added advantage. But we do have a consulate in South Africa, which means if you are from Zambia, you don't have a consulate or a Botswana or a Zimbabwe. You come and apply in South Africa or you send your documents directly to Luxembourg. But if it's for me, I'll go, I'll come to South Africa and apply just like for the Turkish embassy in South Africa. It's in Pretoria as well. I'll come and apply for my visa. Okay. And yes, once you do have your work permit, you see the conditions on your work permit. Remember, um, the amount of salary, I don't see when I did my research, I did not see anywhere they say they don't allow you to bring your dependency, okay? As long as you can afford to take care of your family. So my advice to everyone, this thing of us African thinking, I can take the whole family once off to Europe, doesn't work. Because Europe and all these developed countries are very, very, very expensive so my advice is first to go sort yourself out and then when you are settled and comfortable bring your family over okay that's my advice if it's a husband first to go maybe bring your wife and then bring the children when both of you are working you have got a routine you know how you are going to send the children to school you understand everything then you can bring the kids okay if it's a wife that is going that gets the job first let the wife goes the husband follows husband starts working you are in the same routine or if you are sorted then husband comes with the children whichever works for you I don't tell you what to do because I don't know your budget I don't know your finances okay um yeah so yeah that's Luxembourg guys I hope uh, you got information I hope you make informed decisions um, uh, I'm not in my inbox here on my page due to demand so I work via appointments uh, due because I've got a full-time job not only one I've got two jobs full-time and then I've got this I've got consultations as well business consultations I help people abroad I manage uh, Airbnbs for people that are abroad I help people abroad to buy properties here in South Africa so I'm a very very busy woman um, so if you have got properties or if you want to invest in south africa you are abroad you don't know where to where to go please i'm a girl i'll help you with a genuine agent you can come here i'll sort everything for you i'll send you the properties you see the properties whilst you are there you make a decision you come here you physically see the property we go to the bank you open your bank account you bring your money you don't give it to me you buy the house you pay the owner of the house you buy your house the house is put in your name by the time you're gone you're dealing with lawyers and everything all I do is to source for you the houses all I do is to get you your property according to your budget and once you buy your property you go if you want to put it on Airbnb I help you to manage your property and you'll be paying me whatever we agree on so I'm a very busy person I know a lot of people don't understand that so in my inbox I've got seven administrators that help me to respond my inboxes so even here sometimes on my comment section Jim the blessed is my administrators they do respond my administrators they also post interesting topics I do I do post, I do interact with you guys on my free time or if I'm relaxing or if I'm in a meeting and I'm bored or whatever. I do respond on my comment section. I love interacting with you guys. So if you need my response, it has to be in comment section, not in my inbox. I'm not there. My administrators, they manage my inbox. My PA is there in my inbox. If you want to book a consultation with them, here on this page you trust them it's my banking details on the appointment date and time they give you i will be video calling you that's how you get my whatsapp number so if the only way to get my whatsapp number is to consult with me because the day that you consult with me you get my whatsapp number don't use the number that you get on my page my manager manages that number so it's gonna bounce for you so if you need my direct number you consult with me that's the only way you're gonna get my whatsapp number so guys I love you very much. I've given you the information. Whether you come to me for direct help, whether you don't come to me for direct help, I've given you the information for free so that you can use it. My family, use it. 
maximize on it. All I want to hear is come back with the testimonies. Please come back with the testimonies right in my inbox. If you have got a challenge, you can write in my inbox. Like, Sissy Jean, I got an offer. What should I do? Uh, write whatever, post whatever that you need help with. My PA will send it to me. I will respond to you. My PA will give you my response. Okay? That's the other help. I do help you. So, guys, I'm here. I'm available. Subscribers, don't worry. You are sorted. Um, tomorrow, subscribers, you've got the truck driver's links. Uh, today, today, what did you hear? Today, you heard uk caregiver links guys people are getting jobs in the uk so if you're a caregiver in subscription page don't be lazy guys you must have all your documents valid don't apply as if you're in zimbabwe you are not gonna get a job if your details are in zimbabwe forget and smile uk is not taking anyone in zimbabwe due to the red listing that was placed by our minister but if you're a zimbabwean in south africa your details are for south africa Africa, they will give you if you want to consult with me just go to my inbox here on my page tell them you want to consult with me they'll give you my banking details you pay they'll give you appointment date and time please note i'm booked in advance so it doesn't mean if you pay today you are going to get um, an appointment immediately and next week friday consultation is just going to be 1.3 next week friday okay because it's a black friday so i'm removing 500 runs off so consultation on friday next week is gonna be 1300 on friday next week only friday next week after friday next week it goes back to 1800 it's a black friday special 1300 on friday next week not today not tomorrow okay and remember maybe you get debt for next year just be aware of that so consultation on friday the 28th let me give you next week friday is gonna be that friday the 29th of november it's a black friday consultation is 1300 from midnight to midnight car on Friday only. Saturday, we are back to normal price. Okay? So, make sure you've got the bank details. Pay and get your appointment date. That's only on Friday. Just because I love you so much and you requested for Black Friday. So, we do have Black Friday consultation on Friday, 29th of November, 2024. It's one day. If you pay on the 30th, you must pay my full amount okay so it's just for one day guys and i'm even worried about that but anyway it is well it's black friday you requested for it 1300 500 runs off okay just on friday 29th of november first to come first to save guys there is no me 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 first to come first to save so yeah that's on friday uh, there is no consultation for 500 guys. I work. I work with my time and that's my right. So I don't negotiate on that. I'm sorry. I will never do anything to please you. I will never do anything to lie to you. I'm a genuine person. I work for money and I give you free information during my live videos. I tell you what needs to be done. You either do it on yourself. You want to consult me. It's up to you. I don't force people. You come on your own. Okay. I love you so much guys anyone anyone with a anyone with a uh, i don't have consultation for five thousand i don't have i don't have consultation my consultation fee is one thousand eight hundred nelson kurima uh subscription page link uh you can ask in my inbox they'll give it to you anyone with a question for me do you have a WhatsApp group for subscriptions? I do not have, guys. A lot of people are asking me for that, but I, with the way I work, I don't think I'll be able to commit to that. And it's going to take a lot of my time. I'm already busy, guys. And I'm the only one that does links. So you have to be in subscription page and we move. So I don't have a WhatsApp group for subscriptions. Maybe in the near future, I don't know. But as it is, I do not have. Uh, so guys, I love you very much. It has been almost 45 minutes with you. Uh, let me go and have my lunch. 
um, if Kanamano no Kakushika rewinds the video, all the information is there. So, guys, if you really want to relocate, this is a nice opportunity. Maximize on it. Get the requirements. Start applying and move. If you are using Facebook Lite, you can never subscribe. Facebook, remember the page was created by Facebook. Facebook does not accept Facebook Lite. So you can never subscribe with Facebook Lite. You need a Facebook original to subscribe. Facebook original to subscribe. You cannot subscribe with Facebook Lite. Okay? Facebook original to subscribe. Guys, it's hot in Cape Town. It looks like it's going to rain, but it's very hot. I love you so much. May the good Lord bless you. May you submit your plans before God so that he may guide you, bless you, and protect you. I love you very much. Please don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel because that's where I take these videos too. On YouTube, you can watch all my videos at your own time. It's easier than watching here because I post a lot of posts and stories and stuff. So it's easier to go on YouTube to watch my videos. So make sure when you go to YouTube, you subscribe. It's free. God bless you. I love you so much.